back at the shop. This is uh, another video going on. We got the engine on the engine stand right now. Uh, we're tearing it apart from the head to the block. Uh, we'll end up uh, taking off the timing belt here pretty soon and then taking off the crank and we'll just get the whole head off. And then after we get the whole head off, we'll just go down towards the block and get all this uh, misc stuff off. And that is uh, about our about it for our plan and then we'll probably end up going for the camshafts later yeah, it was a pain in the butt getting this thing on the engine stand we actually had a grind facing off of the off the freaking uh engine stand so yeah it, so it works now it was kind of a pain in the butt but we'll probably just do a little small time lapse video of uh of us uh tearing it apart from now and we'll see how that goes so uh, I'll do a short video uh, after my uh, time lapse video. See how bad these pistons are. Oh god, I'm, dude, I'm freaking scared. Holy shit, dude! Oh! Oh, damn! Holy shit! What the fuck's that? A gasket or something? Get the get the Y, get the pliers, and pull that thing out. Holy crap, dude! Where is the pliers? I don't know, dude, is that like ruined right now? Or can they bore that out? They can do that. They can there's do no, that? There's no gap, you're good. Oh, freak, dude, holy crap. I'm so glad I got this torn apart. Dude, holy sure. crap. Holy crap. I'm curious what my car looks like. Pretty sure this is a bit clean. This is because of freaking antifreeze and oil mixed together. I don't know what this is. This is like serious, either it's running really, really lean or something, but this is, this is absolutely nuts. Oh my god. What was on the bottom? I'm curious. Oh, watch out for the oil. Just lean, just lean the end of it on one side so all the oil spills out. 
Cha. Is that Cha? Cha. It's Cha! It's Cha! Cha! My man! Freaking Cha is here now. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. I got to grab my keys. So oh, screwed up, dude. <laughs> Take a picture with you, okay? Uh, get down as low as you can, okay? Yeah, I got to get a picture of this. Well, I well, I'm just gotta get this whole thing resurfaced, and then I'll be. We gotta spin the thing upside down, which is probably a lot lighter now since we got the yeah, head off. We have to spin it upside down, take off the oil uh, pan, the and then take off the pistons and the crank. Oh, I'm freaking happy for that! But holy crap, it's like it yeah, is bad. Like the, no, the, the inside's good. still good though, like the sil the cylinder wall. It's yeah. all good. It's just it's yeah, it's just a freaking that is like all. Just needs to be clean. What is that? Look that, at the bottom of your head. Like I just noticed when I picked it up and you're getting chalk in here. Look at this shit. Look at your fucking uh, oh, they're freaking white as hell. Your valves. Yeah, it's all they're all like burnt basically. <laughs> yeah, definitely getting new valves. Total new rebuild. Right. 400 horsepower Miata coming up. What, what doing stock it. engine right here? Stock Dude, engine. stock it. Uh, freaking stock, yeah, just exactly. Yeah, freaking repurpose. Good thing I didn't turn away before, man. I probably would have cleaned this stuff out. You got. You should have freaking get that like thing refurbished. That's Holy what you should do. Crap, yeah. that is just awful. Just get some forged pistons and put some sleeves in there. That's it. We're going to go uh, throw some trash away, and then we're going to go out to eat. Freaking Charles Acura T.O. And then I have to be the loser to sit in the back. Thank you very much. Do not launch. I gotta get my seatbelt on, I swear. Oh, wait, wait. I gotta get out of my car. I gotta freaking. Tristan's actually moving his car. Uh, chill it out, man. Chill out. Uh, Tristan has to move his car because he was in front of this guy's storage unit and I just wanted to make it safer for uh, people to go into their storage unit without him. Romp it! Oh, okay. Yeah! I don't want to die. Thing is, like, no, I don't have one. That was my, that was my red light. <laughs> <laughs> red. I won't even let me go to my red, red light. Red gasket blown. <laughs> it literally only let it's uh, fucking 5,000. It was gay. Uh, it didn't even let me go higher than it that. It doesn't let you? No, you it's on an auto manual. No, the thing is, I it can, but it fucking... Uh, but it has to be on a certain speed for him to be able to shift it. Yeah, look, I won't even be able to go past second gear for this shit when I'm going slow. It's gay. So it's like a fucking uh, autocorrect auto manual, you know what I mean? Zone. That's only really ten dollars. Yeah, that's what. That's the one you should have done. Yeah, that was the one they was gonna get. I told him to get this one because it's got the dish on the side, so he'd be able to pour it. Or that one right there. Do that one. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. You're gonna get that one to empty out your oil. That's what we need for my car, except no, I need. We need it for your car. Oh yeah. I need it for my antifreeze and the oil coming out. No, don't touch me, don't touch me. <laughs> oh wait, okay, so I have a question with all this. Okay, street fuel filter. These are the ones that I'm looking for. Except this is a universal throttle wait, cable. Kind of I don't, I'm looking for. Hey, Brandon, your steering. I think, you, did you really get the steering wheel? No, I got an uh, energy steering wheel. It looks exactly the same as that one. No. It's, oh man, what the crap. So there's, there's, they're like these, but you can hook it up to fuel rail or oil. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out where, yeah, like these ones. And I'm trying to figure out how they would actually work, though. What, boost gauges? Boost gauges, oh yeah. No, they won't just be boost gauges, they'll be VTEC gauges. Sure. VTEC. On. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a switch that goes up nope. and down, like for two oh, things. I gotta on check out the exhaust. I was thinking about getting a, making a bla or yeah, making or uh, building a blast pipe. I get an old Subaru. Old Subaru. Do an old Subaru, man. Bring do old Subaru. 
we need kind of paint. So. Do we want to paint the head of your engine? Do red. That's what I'm gonna do. But the thing is, like, part of it's like the top part of it. That's what I need. Is like it's uh, not clear coated anymore. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna get this for the engine, and so we can pour all the fluid in there, and we'll be on our way. Up now, uh, we just got done uh, going to AutoZone, as you saw, and now we're going to end up trying to get all the stuff cleaned out out of this oh, engine. This, this the oh, so bad. Dude, I got like, you got crankshaft and piston hey, removal. Oh, hey, Stop yeah. it. <laughs> it's gonna piss hey, dude, you can just hey, close that. Close that. Yeah, close that, dude. Close that. Go. Yeah, dude, you got to get it all the way. All right. Oh shit, we do. We gotta do these. Oh, I can't do that though. Cause the other one's screwed up. What about this one? That one you can, but it'll be on three then. Yeah, I'm not sure because I, I busted that one bolt right here. You busted that nut, dude. Oh my god. I busted that nut. <laughs>
finally got the block, uh, all the little mists torn apart now. Uh, crane, everything is off. Uh, the next thing we gotta do is get the oil uh, filter adapter off. And we gotta find a right socket to fit on the nut to be able to pull the whole thing off. Uh, after that, I think either uh, tonight or tomorrow we'll uh, work on the head and take out the cam shafts and get it to the bare head and uh, most likely tomorrow we will be sending it to the shop and get it all refurbished and then if that works out perfect we're getting this whole area cleaned up a bit and uh, waiting for the week to come until I get my whole uh, engine back home. Math of everything. Got baggies full of bolts and stuff, the pistons, the, the crankshaft, uh, things out hold the crankshaft it's just a big mess but we'll be able to clean it up tomorrow i think uh we're just gonna do uh give him the give him the my steering wheel you'd love it cha don't do that you're shaking the transmission <laughs> no yeah, it's tying that. Oh yeah, that's the spray that I helped Cha use for his headlights. They're so yellow, yellowed out. I was like, dude, you gotta try this. You pull it out. Yeah, don't break my steering wheel. <laughs> steering wheel. Spin the whole steering wheel. Go right, go right, go right. There you go. Now spin it. It doesn't spin that way, you moron! <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Oh my god. But, alright guys, that is uh, the video for today. Uh, I will make another video. I gotta still finish up a little bit more stuff uh, on the head of the 1.8 liter. And we'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.